It's enough to talk. So last lesson we have started the triangles. I told you that there was one rule. I will remind to you again. Uh, and I think we talked these things also. Let me go quickly. The rule was this, if you remember, whenever you have one minute, let's just see. Yeah. Whenever you have any kind of triangle, whenever you have any kind of triangle, let me do it here. For the side lengths A, B, C, keep this rule in your mind. Any side, any side, always less than some of the other two sides and greater than their difference. So side B is less than some of the other two sides, but greater than their difference. And similarly, side C less than, let's say, A plus B, and it's greater than A minus B. And this is called triangle inequality rule or theorem, okay? Now, uh, Mustafa, I will take the attendance. Let me go a little bit. While you will solve the question, I will take the attendance. So the right triangle means a triangle whose one of the angle is 90 degrees. So this is 90 degrees. In SAT, this notation means 90 degrees. Keep this in your mind. So. When we have the 90 degrees, there's a famous theorem. You know that the Pythagorean theorem, it says that side length of the opposite of 90 degrees, which is hypotenuse square, is equal to sum of the square of the other two sides, which is A square plus B square. And now let's go down. When I look at this example, the rectangle, let me make it a little bit bigger. So you can see better. So it says that the rectangle above has a diagonal of 20 if base of the rectangle is twice as long as the height. If I call the height is x, this will be 2x, y, it says twice. And then since this is a rectangle, I know that this is 90 degrees. So I have the Pythagorean theorem. It says that opposite of 90 degrees, which is 20, to the power of two equals sum of the square of the other two sides. And then x squared plus four x squared, which is five x squared is equal to 20 squared, which is 20 times 20. So this and this, if you simplify, x squared will be four times 20. 20 means four times five. So when you take the square root and square root, it will be x is equal to four times root, uh, not four times. Uh, yeah, these two things goes as four, four times root five. So x is four times root five. This is four times root five. What is the question? Question is, what is the height? A height, we said that it's x. So the height is then four root five. So it is finished. Now, Let's continue. In SAT or in mathematics or in geometry, whatever, algebra, we have spatial triangles. One of them is 3K, 4K, 5K. I mean, this triangle, 3K, 5K, 4K. What, what does it mean? When K is one, when K is one, you have the triangle three, four, five, or three is here, four is here, five is here. Order, it's not important. So the most important things, opposite of uh, 90 degrees must be five. When k is two, what will be three times two, which is six, and four times two, which is eight, five times two, which is 10. But when we have all, if there is a right triangle. And similarly, I mean, if you see somewhere, this is now 30, this is now 40, and this is 90 degrees, you can say that 30 means, three times 10, 40 means four times 10. So these will be, these must be or five times 10, which is, it will be 50. Why? K is here equal to 10, 3K, 4K and 5K. Any question till here? Yeah, uh, Mr. How will the questions be, but uh, Roden, 
the question could be this, as I told you, simply this one. For example, this is, let's say 60, and let's say this is 36, this is X, find the X. So normally, what should you do? You should do this, 36 squared plus X squared is equal to 60 squared, and then long calculation. But if you know this rule, which is 3K, 4K, 5K, you may guess that 60. So you know that this must be multiple of five. So five times what will be six? It is 12. So there is a possibility. It must be always known. There is a possibility uh, that this is 5K where K is 12. So check it, 36. 36 means three times something or four times something. Both could be, why four times nine? three times 12. Yeah, that's good, three times 12. So when I say that, I am sure that whenever you have two of them, third one comes automatically. Or if this is satisfied, this is satisfied, this must be satisfied automatically. It means that 36 is three times 12. 60 means five times 12. So 3K, 5K, so this must be 4K. And what is K? 12. So it must be four times 12, which is 48. Just you are gaining time. You are not losing time to make the calculations or you are preventing yourself to make a calculation mistakes, if you know this. Or as I told you, this could be 40, this could be 30, this is X. So what will be answer? There is 90 degrees, four times 10, three times 10. So five times 10, which is 50 directly. This is an easy, simple case, okay? Now we have similar to this, similar to this guys, other spatial triangles. What are they? It is, these are three, four, 3K, 4K, 5K, or 6K, 8K, 10K, 5K, 12K, 30K. We see this so much so often and this one. For example, today in my pre-calculus lesson, I used this one. There was one question we were talking about trigonometry. It was eight, and 15, I said directly, it must be 17. I remembered it is a spatial triangle, but to be sure, I said, let us check. Eight squared plus 15 squared is equal to X squared. So 64 plus 225. So root will be X. So four, five, nine, two, and six, eight, 289, 289 is 17. If you wanna check 17 times 17, 49, 10, one, 700, so, nine eight two so we are right now when you know you don't need to make all these calculations this is the good part so 8k 15k 17k i mean if you have 16 if you have 30 you can directly say that this is 54 why 8k 15k 17k is a special triangle or this is also so often we see 5 12 13 how you can say that this is 10. This is now, uh, tell me 24. This is X. What will the answer of the question? If you know the rule, this is 5K, 12K, so 13K. The 13K means what is K? Here, five times two, 12 times two, so 13 times two, which is 26. Just it makes your life easier, but isn't, I mean, this is, is this easy thing to remember? Of course it's not. When you solve lots of questions, Oh, Mr. You will be familiar, but 3K, 4K, 5K, you mustn't forget. It's very simple thing. Yes, your question. Uh, this is uh, this is a approximation or what? Not approximation. This is actual result. This is a rule. Normally, I can prove this one. So when you have this is 5K, 12K. This is now X. What will be X? So 5K squared plus 12K squared is equal to x squared, so 25k squared plus 144k squared is x squared. So it will be 549426 and then 1k squared. So a square root of this, 169 will be 13 squared. So 13k squared will be k. So this is directly 13k. Uh, okay, so, so I have But we are memorizing, this is always 5K, 12K, 13K. So no need to make calculation. If you remember, you can solve the question directly. If not, you will just use normal way. This is 
information, extra information. You may even trick, it's not a trick, but you may even call this. So it makes your life easier when you know. Of course, if you don't know, you will use the normal Pythagorean theorem. Yes, if one of my trails I had for a in related five, uh, 12, 13 triangle. Yeah. Okay. Now I am passing, these are 3K, yeah. 4K, 5K, 6K, 8K, actually here, three times two, four times two, five times, two. no need to memorize. I mean, just 3K, 4K, 5K, this is enough. Now, this is different, 5K, 12K, 13K, and this is also different, but I'm not seeing, to be honest, lots of questions about this. It could be, but I haven't seen till this time, till my age, but I have seen so many times this, I have seen so many times this, and the last one I have seen so many times, okay? So K is here, any number. So if one, three, four, five, if two, six, eight, 10, if two, 10, 10, 24, 26, if two, 16, 30, 54. But again, do not be upset uh, if you cannot memorize, just use the Pythagorean theorem. It's better to know, but if not, forget about it. Not important. Sir, sir so far the uh, sir. Yes, question. Yes, sir. Sir, so can you go up a bit? Sorry. Can you go yeah. Up? Yeah. So, sir, for the Pythagorean theorem, we should do like ten square plus twenty four square equals x square. Then find ten square plus twenty four square and take the root of. Pythagorean right? theorem is this: A B C. Yeah. Hypotenuse, which is ninety square, is equal to a square yes. plus b square. That's okay. It. I have a. So this is now a b c, or this is now b a c. But the mm. last one is always Pythagorean uh, hypotenuse. Hypotenuse. Okay, thank you. Mm. Yes. Question. So how how you got fifty four over here? Oh. Where fifty four? Tell me. I I oh. have done lots of things. Which one? Oh, oh, oh the string. Yes, the here. Here, yeah. here. Yes. Yeah, I said that if the question is this, if the question is this, 16, 30, and x. So I can use the Pythagorean theorem, but I said that, let me think. 16, what is that? Eight times two. 30, what is that? 15 times two. And then I thought that there was one rule. Eight, 15, I mean, 8K, 15K, and 17 So what is K here? Two, so 17 times two, it's 34. Not 54, if I say 54, sorry. It is yeah, it's 34. 34. I'm 17 times, 17 times two, which is 34, not 54. Okay? I think enough, no need to talk so much. Yes, most important things, there are two triangles. One is X, X, X root two. So you should be familiar to this one. There are lots of SAT questions related with this. So whenever we have 90 degrees, if this is X, if this is X, directly we say this is X root two. The proof, if you want, so simple, X squared plus X squared is equal to question mark squared. So two times X squared is equal question mark squared, square root, square root. So question mark will be X squared will be X outside two. So X root two. Now, how I will use it, this one, if this is given, so the answer, this is the question, this is the question. What can I say? The answer is this is four, this is four. four Why this four. is four root two, finished. Or, or if this is now six, this is now six, what will be hypotenuse? I will say that directly six times root two, that's it. Huh, if you don't remember, it's not end of, end of the word. Just do it, this. So, so 70 will be two times 36. So six root two, that's it, just calculation. Or here, two times 36. So root six, that's it, okay? If you know, I mean, the knowledge is a power, let's say. If you know something, you are enriching yourself. You are empowering yourself. Just extra thing. Yes, I like this so much. Everywhere we see this, everywhere we see this. What is that? 
Memorize this like that, please. Have a look, have a look, please. 90 degrees, 60 degrees, 30 degrees. If I call, opposite of 90 degrees is two, opposite of 30 degrees is one, opposite of 60 degrees is root three. If you forget, not a problem. I mean, if you remember, this is one, this is two. And if you forget that, what will be this? Just use Pythagorean theorem. One square plus question mark square is equal to two square. Question mark square is equal to four minus one. Question mark is root three. So this is now root three. But of course, better to memorize, especially for trigonometry, we use this so much. I mean, what is sine of 30, cosine of 30, tangent of 30, cotangent of 30, uh, what is sine of 60, cosine of 60, tangent 60, cotangent 60. So by using this triangle, we can answer. So in general, what is the rule? Opposite of 90 degrees hypotenuse, opposite of 30 degrees is half of the hypotenuse, half of hypotenuse. This length is half of the hypotenuse. What about this length, which is opposite of 60? Half of the hypotenuse Excellent. times Excellent. root three. three. Now, let me give you some examples, guys. Let me give you some examples and you can tell me. Now, uh, let's say this is 30 degrees. Let's say this is 60 degrees. Let me tell you this is 10. What is X, what is Y? Or what is X times Y? So what will be answer? Sorry, what will be answer here? Access now, right. opposite of 30 degrees right. is always half of the hypotenuse, half of the hypotenuse, which is five. So this is now five. Opposite of 60 is five times squared. Half of the hypotenuse, which is five times root three. That's it, nothing else, finish. So one uh, more this time. Rule all, says this rule always happen when the degrees always, are Always, always, oh, always. But it has to be 60 and 30, right? Always. Yes, but the order, it's not important, Ahmed. I mean, this could be 60, this could be 30. But the it has to be 60, 30. 2 x, x, x root 3. Oh, okay. And you know, opposite of small angle, small side. Opposite of larger angle, larger side. So 90 is the biggest angle, so biggest side is here. 30 is the smallest angle, smallest side is here. One more question, one more question. What is X, what is Y? What is X, what is Y? One and, uh, oh, never mind. Be careful, directly don't Why tell is... me, think a bit. Y is four? Two times two. So uh, opposite of 30 is, Half of the hypotenuse, so what is four? Opposite of 60 is, opposite of 30 times root three, finished. Yes or no? Sorry, I didn't understand that. Okay, one more time. You have to memorize this. When you memorize, you can understand all the questions. This is hypotenuse, I am calling this is two X. This is 30 degrees, this is half of the hypotenuse. I mean 2xx. And opposite of 60 degrees is opposite of 30 times root three. So let me write opposite of 30 degrees is as a length, as a length, half, half of hypotenuse, always, okay? And, pardon, and, oops, uh, let me tell you, opposite of 60 degrees is, as a length, always, uh, opposite of 30 times root Three, opposite of 30 degrees times root three times. Example, 
if this is hundred, if this is 30 degrees, if this is 60 degrees, tell me what will be this? Let me call X, let me call Y. What is X? 50. Read the definition, please. Read the definition. Opposite of 30, what is that? Read it. Uh, I think it's 50. 50. So hypotenuse, we know opposite of 90. So 50. Now, what about y? 50. Y is opposite of 60. So what is the rule? X times root 3. So it will be 50 times root 3. That's it. OK? Is it clear now or not clear? Yes, sir. Come on. Let us pass this. So now at the beginning of the lesson, what I was saying. So if you have this kind of theoretical issues, as soon as possible, finished. I will study this. Take a note to a paper, or it's better a notebook. Okay. Use a notebook. Write the rule. Rule, 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 one rule, one question, one rule, one question, one rule, one question, and once a day or once a two days or uh, once a week from the beginning to the end, just read all the rules again and again, again and again, rule, example, rule, example. You know the people who is memorizing the Quran, how they study. They memorize one, second, one and second they read. So they start third, after that one, two, three, they read in their mind. So when you repeat it again and again, again and again, so you are not forgetting. You know, there is one Arabic phrase, I think. nimi, <laughs> Or how can I say the other? I mean, if you repeat <laughs> something, even hundred, I even thousand times, this. how is it? Tell me. No, Mr. I said I haven't heard this phrase before you haven't so you are learning you are smoke it man i am 43 years. <laughs> no teacher I, it's uh, there's have, an alternative have, in english which says practically have, perfect yeah it could be and i oh, have yeah. 15 different countries till this age so i have learned a little and a little the diff, lots of things the, oh, the okay. teacher officially told us his age congratulations okay let's continue now so if the rule is clear yeah. Oh, on yeah. the question also let me tell you let me say this is now x this is now 10 this is now y can you tell me what is x directly quickly without waiting quickly what is x 20. bravo what is y 10 x 10, 10 to the power 3 root 3 sorry. 10 root 3 that's it you have to say this directly but to say this you should know the rule what was the rule 2 x x x root 3 so this is 30, this is 60, this is 90. Don't forget small angle, small side, big angle, big side. Okay. Now let's continue now. Yeah. Question. Uh, teacher, can we use the sine and cosine rule here? You can use, but you are, uh, how can I say, time is important in the exam. So this is easier than sine and cosine. You can use, but it is easier. Now let's go on. Whenever we have a collateral triangle, it means that all the sides are equal to each other and all the interior angles are equal to each other. If all the interior angles are equal to each other, what does it mean? There are three vertices, three angles. One of them must be 60 degrees. So as a rule, if you have a collateral triangle, all the interior angles are 60, 60, 60. All the side lengths are, if you wish say two, 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 one, 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 four, four, four. I mean, their lengths must be equal to each other. That's it. So here I wanna prove something to you now. So sometimes knowing this kind of proof is uh, a good tool in your hand, especially for a difficult question. Now, when I draw 190 degrees, my dear students, when I draw 190 degrees, this is 60 given. This is 90. So what is left here? Can you tell me? 30. 30. 30. Previous rule, remember, opposite of 90 degrees, 2x, opposite of 30 degrees, how many x? 
x uh, plus x. x half of it and opposite of 60 degrees which is here tell me hypotenuse right h what is that opposite of 60 is equal to opposite of 30 times root 3 okay so the question what is the area of equilateral triangle base altitude over two. So what is base in this figure? Base of the triangle ABC, what is that? Two X. What is now altitude? X root three. And base time altitude over two. When you simplify, let me check it one minute. So two X, X, X root three, base is two X, altitude is X root three and uh, how was the area? Yeah? Base time out over. Yeah, this one. So x x squared times root three in this question. In this question, right? According to this question, area is x squared root three. But now let me tell you something. Which one is base? Which one is out? Let me tell you something. As a formula, let me tell you something. If this is a unit. And if this is a collateral triangle. Now, this is A, this is A. Be careful now. So, 90, 60, 30. Opposite of 30, half of the hypotenuse. And half of the hypotenuse times root 3. So, what is the area now? Base, altitude over 2, which will be base is A times altitude is a over two root three all over base time altitude over two. So this will be a square root three over four, which is a formula. If you know this, you can solve the question easily. If not, you learn right now how to get it. I mean, if one side of equilateral triangle, triangle, is 10 centimeter, what is the area? So the answer, if you know the rule, answer is 10 square root three over four. That's it, nothing else. 10 square root three over four. Why? We said that if the base is A unit, so which is now one side is 10 given, which is A is 10, so the area is always a square root three over four. This is the proof. So I didn't give you as a rule, as a formula, but the rule is this. A square root three over four is the area of equilateral triangle whose one side is a unit, okay? So sometimes without, what is this where I'm here about my, okay, no problem. Now, sometimes instead of memorizing formula, knowing how to get it, Whenever you need, you can get it by yourself. Now, passing, passing, passing. Now, this is the first example, very simple example. You solve this by yourself. Put the answer to the chat screen. Base is not A over two. Jude, uh, you tell me base is A over two? No, let's come back. Here, in this question, A unit, A unit, and A unit. A over two is only this part, but we are talking about area of triangle ABC. So A over two, A over two, which is A. This is a equilateral triangle. All the sides are equal, okay? Let me draw it again here. So if you have A, A, and A, 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 and we prove that this is a over two root three, okay? So the area is base times altitude over two, which is a square root three over two over two, which is a square root three over four. So if the question says this is 20 units, and sorry, this is 60, 60, 60, which is equated triangle, if this is 20, you can say that area is this, which is- Sir, uh, how did uh, two or two become four? Where is two and two? This, this one. Yeah, this one. Easy, Ahmed, A over B over C, what is that? You tell me. 
BC. Ah, like this. Okay. Just when you solve lots of questions, you will be familiar with it. For example, nice. two over three over five. What will be? This is so two over five. It will be two over three times five over one. So it would be, yeah, two over five. Okay. I get it. Now yeah. let's go back to our question. And while we are solving the question, I will take the attendance. Or did you solve the question, first question? Let me check the chat screen. Uh, no, not yet. Please try to solve this quickly. And let me take the attendance. So, so 45, 45, hypotenuses four. I am closing this page to take the attendance. 45, 45, hypotenuse is the four. Find the uh, area of the triangle. So I am taking the attendance while you are solving. So you can tell me. Let me make it at the beginning, everyone is here and I will change it. So Abdulaziz El Ghali here or not? El Ghali, are you here? No. Abdullah Akhtar is very here. Here. Abdullah Daiban. I'm here. Abdul Rahman Halil Usta. Yes. Ahmed Emin Kerim. Ahmed Abu Taha. Yes, sir. Abu Taha. No. Uh, Arwa Salim. Arwa. No. Esma Mahmud. Here. Here. Basma Fat Mustafa. Basma Mustafa. No. Mishra Sheikh. Here. Dana Fadi. Fadi. Here. Fari Abdullah. No. Galia Balbaki. Galia. No. Hajar Maurabi. Here. Ham Semi Said. Harir. Harir. No. Hayat. Hayat. Jude Al Juma. Here. Jude Schweit. Here. Lara. Lara sent the message. She's here. Lilas. Here. Menek Mahmoud. Melek Mahmoud, no. Maria Avil, no. Maryam Elhami, no. Maya El Chalati, here. Mohamed Bara Mubayet, Mohamed Bara, no. Mohamed Himam, I am here, Mr. Mohamed Ebu Ziyad. Here, sir. Mohammed Al Hannas. Mohammed Al Nahas. Mustafa. Abu Abu Hazza. Yes, sir. Nadia Odai. Nadia Odai. No. Nizar. Yeah, I'm here. Nizar. I'm here. Obai I'm Sabah. Here. I'm here. Bamer Al Gali. Al Gali. No. Bamer Haitam. Yes, I'm here. Osama Ismail. Yes, sir. I'm here. Rama Ebu Libe. Yes, I'm here. Ridwan Al Borni. Ridwan. Here. Here. Okay. Sabrin Jamal Idris. Safi Aziz. Selva Al Mazub, Samia Mohammed Mahmoud. Uh, so she's having internet problems. Who? Who? Samia. Okay, so she's here. Let's say Sarah Badadi. Here. 
Sara Rufai. Here. Shahed. Here. Shamim. Shamim Ali. Here or not? No. Okay. Tasneem. Here, sir. Umme. Umme. No. Yara. Here. Zaina Ebu Hura. Here. Leha Masroa. Here. Okay. Lara Antebi. Okay. Also you. Tamam. Attendance finished. So let's go back to question. The answer in the chat screen there are 10 students. Uh, it says B, C, 8, which is D. B, C, A. Uh, Mohamed, your name is there, no problem. Uh, Galia Balbaki, you are here. Okay, C, A, C. So there are C, A, B, D. We have all the answers. Uh, it's not good, guys. All the answers we mustn't have. Maybe maximum one or two same answers could be, but if we have all, that means there is problem. Okay, let me find this Balbaki. Where is your name, Balbaki? Can you tell me your number? 13. 13. Okay, Gania. Tama. Now let's solve the question. Let's solve the question. Uh, it is so simple if you remember this rule. X, X, X root two. When, if this is 45 degrees. First of all, 45, 45 means this is X and X, Y, isosceles triangle, two sides are equal. If you know the rule, so four is equal to X times root two. Four is equal to X times root two. So four over root two is X. And then if you multiply the denominator and numerator by root two, it will be four root two over root four root four will be two, two and this simplify two. So result is two root two, not result, sorry. X is two root two. What is the question? Area. What is the area? Base altitude over two. So two root two times two root two over two, which will be two times root four, which will be two times two, which will be four. So result is C. Any comment, any question, check it. Can you explain it again, please? One more time, okay. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Now, first of all, when we look at the question, when we look at the question, uh, can we say that these two sides are equal to each other? Yes, no? Who told yes. me I didn't understand? I am asking directly to you. Please, you answer. We can say. So I am saying this is X, yes. this is X. So what is the area? Tell me. Area of triangle. What is that? One upon two base and two height. So tell me by using letters, what will be? One upon two X and two X. X times X over two. Is it correct? Yes. So I need to find X. How can I find? First way, first way. Since this is 90 degrees, X squared plus X squared is equal to four square. Two times X squared is equal to 16. X squared is equal to eight. And then wait, I don't wanna find X, Y? Since the area is X squared over two. So X squared is eight, eight over two, which is four, finished. Check it quickly. Is it clear or not? Sir, yeah. We now answered I'm... four, but you said the answer is B, two over two. Sorry? X equals two, two root two. Answer is not two root two, answer is four. Since the question is area. Area is x times x over two. So x squared over two, 
and 2x squared is 16 means x squared is eight. So eight over two, four. Now second way, second solution. Now the second solution is this. I should remember this spatial triangle, x, x, x root two. Is this familiar? Is this same with me? X, 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 four, four. So this must be four. I mean, X times square root of two must be four. I am writing X. So how can I solve this? If I divide both sides this, Till here, do you have any question? Till here, do you have any question? No. And then if I enlarge by using the same number, I will have the same number. Nothing is changed. So this will be Is it okay? This is now X. But I need X to the power of two. So two root two to the power of two divided by two, which is two square roots two square over two. So four times two over two and then four. Or instead of finding X, forget about this part. This is X. What I need, X squared. I take power two, X squared is equal to this power two, which is 16 over two, which is eight. So numerator is eight, denominator is two, eight over two is four, so result is C. Okay or no?